We are at Ifra Pharma. We are indeed. You presented yesterday. Do you want to just uh, introduce yourself so sure. we know who you are? Yep, Janet Carlson, um, CEO of 111 Software. And uh, one of the things that I was talking about was PharmaCares yesterday. Right. So tell us, just tell us a little bit about 111 Software. Oh, sure. So we know your story. We, we talked a little bit yesterday. You were yes. telling us about e-sampling. Right. So that's the big emphasis yes. for 111. Yeah. Um, well, e-sampling, I mean, we started off as a digital agency back in 94 is when we started. So we've been in business 17 years. Um, it was around 9-11 that, you know, our business, it was a lot of convention business, kiosk. Um, we would do all the kiosk stuff, all the interactive work. Business just went away. Right. And we needed, we, you know, we sat down. We had plenty of money put away. So we sat down and we said, what is it we want to be doing? And that's when we said, okay, doctors really want samples and information from us. How can we get it to as quickly as possible? And that's when we got into e-sampling. Right. So we launched our first program back in 2003. And we've just been pretty much perfecting e-sampling since. Um, we did the first e-signature. Uh, we did the first mobile. Um, we're doing, you know, we started up with the finger signatures. Right. Um, you know, all this kind of stuff. We just constantly innovate in the space. Um, we're launching samples together, which is the first industry-wide paperless sample closet. And that'll be probably within the next couple of weeks. And then that led to the different flavors of what we're doing. Um, Hippocrates is powered by our sample server, which is our e-sampling software. And so I was going to ask who your customer is. So, yes. so it would be on the software provider side? It's, well, it's a mix. So it's either, you know, we've got relationships with different companies who want to provide sampling to their constituents, or it's directly the pharma company. Right. So you can, you can do an industry-wide closet, you can do a sample sites, which is um, just basically with the brand, or who wants to sample. You can do the um, samples together, which is all the you know, like web-based, um, sampling, right, and then PharmaCares is the fourth flavor, right. That is a donation closet. So PharmaCares is what we really wanted right. to talk about. Yes. So you introduced it for the first time yesterday. Yes, the big public reveal. Big reveal. And uh, and so I can see the sort of heritage from your sampling experience led directly right. to PharmaCares. Right. What's the problem we're trying to solve? Um, well, there's actually it started off being one problem that uncovered other problems. So uh, when we first had this idea, it was really uh, what can we do with the existing software to do good. And the idea kind of eventually came up to um, a donation sample closet. So you have an industry-wide sample closet here on the for-profit side. On the not-for-profit side, you have a donor closet. So when you get short-dated samples, surplus, okay. what have you, it'll go in the donation side. So you maximize. And what happens to that stuff now? Yeah, um, it gets destroyed. Okay. Some of it gets packed up and sent overseas. Okay. What I found very discouraging was that very little gets. Americans. Right. So there's 36.1 million Americans who have need for medicines that they can't afford. So, you know, sadly, American companies are boxing up their surplus or the, or the short dated right. and sending it overseas. Right. Not very much is getting give, given to Americans. to Americans. And I was okay. very dismayed by that. So the purpose of Pharma Cares was to help pharmaceutical companies care for Americans. Right. For the 36.1 who can't afford their medicines to help them. So these are never going to be your customers anyway because they can't afford to buy your drugs. They can't afford to buy it. Why so not give them the samples that exactly. right now you're shipping out right. to somebody So you're maximizing. I mean, the idea is that you go in samples together or sample sites or however you want to do it. You maximize the prescription opportunity and then when it's short dated or surplus, you take that and you do good for people who can't use your stuff right. otherwise anyway and it helps their health. Can you guys do the fulfillment side as well? No, we connect to fulfillment okay. houses. So it's, it's you know, it's um, we're pretty much connected to all the fulfillment houses now anyway, okay. so it's a very easy transaction. So they've already got the drugs. Right. You know when they've gone off date or whatever Correct. the condition is that now makes them yes. eligible for PharmaCare's. Yes. Pharma flips company over. doesn't have to do anything else. Nothing Automatically else. flips over into the PharmaCare donation Correct. closet and then it can get donated to those people Correct. who need it. Yep. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. So you you said yesterday when you were talking, this was the big public reveal, but you right. have been having this conversation with some right. of the pharma companies and, yes. and other industry folks. What's yeah. the reception been like? It's been amazing. I mean, it's for the first time, and you know, like I've been in this industry 25 years, and you know, I'll call somebody or somebody on my team will call somebody, and you you'll get people back to you. But when we started talking about pharma cares, they would call back within 10 minutes. Right. I would actually have people saying, I have time right now to talk to you. Or I'm not the guy to talk to, but I know who is, and actually I already emailed him, and he's going to talk to you in an hour. Is that okay? Right. Are you kidding me? Right. Sure. That's great. So people just want to do good. They want to do good. You're giving them an opportunity to do good. There's no there's, Where do you have opportunities to really do good? Yeah. And then you watch TV shows where we're the bad guys again. Yeah. You know, I was at Prime Suspect last week. Again, the pharmaceutical executives were killing people and rigging trials, and right. it's like I'm watching this going, no, this is not happening again. Right. Again. Yeah. yeah. So I just, yeah, it's I not really a big do. surprise that people have a bad impression of the pharma industry. But we're now not, we have a we have an right. opportunity to change that, or at least 
you know, make, make, a, a, difference. make a difference. Right. And I think that everybody wants to do that. They just don't know how to. And this is a, you know, because I'm so connected in the industry, and people feel more comfortable because I am an industry insider. Right. I understand, I mean, you need to maximize your prescription, but then what are you going to do with it afterwards? Right, That's absolutely. So, how do people get involved? Uh, well, there's a couple different ways. Um, you can call us, you can email us. Um, I think email, we're, we haven't set up the website yet because the storm, we were getting ready to right. launch the site. Right. Huge storm in Connecticut shut down everything. So we'll be launching um, pharmacares.org. Okay. Um, I'm very much hoping we'll do that in the next week. Okay. Um, in the meantime, uh, anybody can email me, janet.carlson, C-A-R-L-S-O-N, at 111software.com. Okay, and we'll put that up on the screen so that people can Absolutely. see it. Absolutely. Um, okay, so they should email you directly. Yes. Look for pharmacares.org yep. in the next week or so. Right. And, uh, and definitely get involved through there. Right.